Welcome to Bear and Breakfast. Hopefully today we are officially going to be opening the bed and breakfast. That would be amazing. First we have to get to prestige level two. So let's do that. So I think I have to like do some crafting or something. I'm not too sure. Let's see. What can I craft? Don't know. Decorative items. I don't seem to have any like recipes. So maybe I've got to buy some because I remember the game saying something about talking to the shark and he like has a shop so i'm thinking maybe we can like unlock something from this dude if it's open i don't know if it's open over here ah here we go simple wardrobe recipe and a foot rest recipe i think we already have the bed one don't we i feel like we already have that bed one i don't know if it's the same bed or not shabby wooden bed Let's go check. Also, I don't even know how much money we have. Let's have a look. I got 130 money right now, so not a massive amount. I kind of wish you could walk while the inventory is open. You just, everything stops, unfortunately. I wish it like stayed open. I don't know. I just would rather, it's just a small thing, I suppose, but I don't know. I guess I just want it to, uh, to still keep going, I suppose. Um, anyways, crafting. So we have the shabby pallet bed. So it's slightly different. Okay, that's good to know. All right, so we're going to go and buy something. Am I just going to have to fill the whole thing with just those? Is there a, a way to get money? Maybe I can sell something. I don't know how you sell in this game. I have no idea. I only have 100. I got 130. I could buy these two recipes or I could buy the wardrobe. I don't know what I want to buy. I kind of want the wardrobe though. I want this wardrobe. Let's buy it. I only got 30 coins now. There's got to be a way of making money. Uh-oh. Your property procedure is still, still too low. I know. Come back when it's up a little more. All right. So I can't do anything over there. It doesn't look like I can sell stuff just yet, which is unfortunate. But I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So if we craft and... We're going to... Oh, I need to use it, right? There we go. Used it, and now we should be able to craft it. All right, craft away, and let's put it somewhere. I guess... I don't know where I'm going to put it. Could I... Could put it in the bedroom, but the room is really, really tiny. <laughs> There's, like, no room in there. I guess that's okay for now, I suppose. All right, there we go. Size requirements not met? It's not? Really? Are you sure? <laughs> it looks big enough to me. All right, I guess we can make it a bit bigger or something. Hold on a second. What is gone? What's happened here? I don't know what's happened here. I was just trying to, like, add it to the room. Uh, no. Let's... Can we exit? Discard changes to bedroom too. Did... Did I accidentally, like, make another room or something? I don't know. It's gone in there, so that's good. Okay, my prestige is still not high enough, so I'm going to have to, like, do something else. I don't know what's to even put in there. I just have barely any decorative items. How do you make money? I wish I knew how you actually made money in this game, because I've got no idea. Should I just, like, fill it with, like... Should I just make, like, another bedroom? Let's, like, make another bedroom, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know what what else to uh, to do here. So if we add tile... I mean, we're going to need more than one bedroom anyway, right? I'm sure of it. We'll put this here. And little wardrobe. They're all going to be, like, matching. All right, there we go. You don't have enough coins to build this room. How do I get money? <laughs> I have no idea. I can't even make that. That's super annoying. Okay, okay, hold on a second. Is there a way? Placing objects. There's no way of selling things. Hmm. What a pain in the butt. You can go up floor. Oh, so that's what it actually looks like. I never knew what it looked like, actually. Show walls. And then you can hide walls. That's cool. Okay, what, what do you think I should do? Maybe I should just, like... Hang on. Maybe I should just not build room inventory let's just like you can't just put it down anywhere hmm so i'll have to actually put it in the room with it they've made it a little awkward here i'm not gonna lie <laughs> why can't i just like uh it's a bit of a pain in the butt all right i can put it in here but there's just like barely any room it can just be like the master bedroom with like tons of beds 
not going to be much room to walk around, but hey. Is there not a way to, like, make the existing rooms bigger? Like, how, how do you do that? There's got to be a way. Edit, like this. And, ah, there you go. That's how you do it. But I don't even, I've barely even got enough room to make it bigger. I've made it slightly bigger, but that's, like, all I can really do at the moment. Can I move this over? And then we might be able to... If I just play Tetris a little bit. Cannot be placed. The bed already exists. So it's because I've already... You can only have one. You can only have one in the room. That sucks. My prestige is level one still. What if I just, like, made another wardrobe? I just put, like, loads of wardrobes in. I don't have barely any, like, items to even fill this up with. It's a little bit silly. Okay, that boosts it by a lot. So we're just going to make a ton of wardrobes, <laughs> apparently. Oh, I've got no more iron nails. Uh, I'll have to, like, go find some. Okay, let's exit now, uh, just for a second. All right, let's take some stuff. I'm sure I can find some around here somewhere. But, yeah, it's just a bit of a pain that, like, you just don't start with much money and I don't know how to sell stuff. If I knew how to sell stuff, then I think I wouldn't have a problem... But I really have no idea right now, so <laughs> I have no clue. There's got to be a way. There's like a, a road here. Where does this go? I haven't actually explored around here just yet. What's this? There's like a bus down here. Ooh. Okay. I just found Oliver's lunchbox, apparently. Thanks, Oliver. Ooh, who's here? Oh, is this my guest? This is my guest. Hello. Oh my god. Well, hello there, buds. Hello, are you not scared? Like, I'm a bear. <laughs> Aren't you a good looking one? Haven't seen your likes around my buses before. Yeah, like, that would be kind of like crazy to see so many bears. Um, I like your hair. <laughs> Soft bear noises. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, what a kind looking bud you are. Well, you know, I try. I try. I'm just trying to get on your good side. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here if it wasn't evident. <laughs> Look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Well, this one does. Do you... do you take the bus? Yes? <laughs> I've been in a broken down tractor before. Does that count? <laughs> we have? <laughs> What's a bus? Uh, yeah, let's see that. Mild bear noises. <laughs> I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid, bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send. But I just can't leave my buses. <laughs> it's like your baby. <laughs> but there's not been any post since, well... In years. Oh no. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to sawdust? And give this to Beanie for me? Okay, a scratched envelope. Why is it scratched? Did I scratch it? Oh no. I hope I didn't scratch it. <laughs> find it in your inventory. She usually hangs around the Firewatch Tower. Ah. Okay. What's all this? Oh, I can steal your pen on a string. <laughs> I like how we're just stealing his pens. I could sit in bed and play video games all day. I share that sentiment. They sure don't make them like they used to. How do they make them? Look, bud, I just play them. Yeah, me too. I don't know how they make them either. This seems like hard work, if you ask me. <laughs> all right, you can't open this yet. What's this? Oh, yes, some nails. That's what I was after. And some wood over here as well. Where even is... Where even is, like, this place? Sawdust? Whitestone Bay. It seems to be blocked off right now. So there are some areas that you can't go to until, like, later on, I guess. Oh, that might be them over there. Or maybe it's, like, another side quest or something. I'm finding all the little quests now, so that's cool. Maybe I just needed to do a little bit of exploration or something. I have no idea. But that's okay. All right, let's go talk to this little... Are you a raccoon? You look like a raccoon. We'll talk to you in a second. Lots of nails there. Very nice. What's in here? You can't open that. Okay. Hello. Oh, it's Took. <laughs> Whoa there, big fella. Where did you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? All right. Enough of the questions. Um, <laughs> you started it. <laughs> what are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash? Junk? Muck? I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. Slop? Scrap? Rubble? We're talking about humans here. 
No, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need. You've stumbled upon the most handsome curator of this... Of... Oh, of crap, this side of the alley... Of the valley. <laughs> there isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. So he's got all the junk. Great, let me just have a look in that dumpster. Not so fast, bozo. How do I know that I can trust you? <laughs> My, um, authoritative height. <laughs> I like that. That's a good, re that's a good response. Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gusser before noon. Although, I do spend a lot of time down there. But, you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a buff depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack and then we can talk. Oh. Yeah, I did that. I found that already. I got like a snack for like Oliver or something. One guest arrived. <gasps> I got a guest at my resort. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's how you make money. I don't know. I got a tasty sandwich right here. Apparently it was Oliver's. I don't know who that is though. I don't think that was the guy we just met, was it? Maybe it was. I don't remember his name. <laughs> so did you find any grub? Yes, I did. Yeah, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. Hey, you gotta get what you can take, man. You just gotta, you just gotta suck it up and just, you know, go with the flow. That's all I could find. Mmm, just like mum used to make. Wait, what? <laughs> he liked it. All right, you brutish charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Okay, I mean real valuables. Took's garbage. Has new items available so you can buy stuff from him. Okay, cool. Let's see what you're selling. So how come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time. Dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. What, is it a crime? <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. My body will always made me go. And it was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not going to snitch if you ain't. Besides, haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran around after the big inferno. What does that mean? What's a bit... What? Is there an apocalypse? Did something bad happen in the world? Yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. All right. Animals are taking over, guys. <laughs> Down with the humans. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. And probably make a few folk pissy in the process. Listen, I get plenty of demand, so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell them back to. Um, okay, and especially slim pickings if we don't get any of the rich looking kind. They dump the best junk. I'll tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for him, how about you do me the same for the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like a raccoons to a burger wrapper. <laughs> it's me. I am raccoons. Yes, I gathered that. <laughs> I'm just getting the hang of it. This sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is a one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. What, what do you think humans are? <laughs> are humans really? They think humans are like super simple minded. I like that. <laughs> That's funny. The beaver will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what kind of new goods we'll have in the shop. Okay, can I- I just want to see what you have for sale. Oh, cardboard box, drawers, a mirror, nightstand, cabinets, lights, mats and plants and rugs and posters. I need these valuables to buy things. I wish I came here earlier. Oh, look at this dude. Are you, you, he's a tourist. He's just like taking pictures of stuff. I like that. Uh, okay, let's get a welcome mat. I'm gonna buy, can I just buy like one of everything? That would be so, so cool. I'm just gonna buy one of every, I brought one of everything. Fantastic. I like that. Tug's Dumpster is your one-stop shop for decorative objects. I wish I knew this earlier. I didn't realize I had to come all the way over here. <laughs> 
Tuk accepts valuables as currency. Guests also leave behind garbage that you can collect and use to buy decorative objects. Very nice. Okay, so I need to give Beanie the envelope from Oliver. I need to get the prestige to level two and talk to Tony about the kiosk. Right, so I got quite a few different tasks to get on with here. Let me pick this up. Was that a, a junk item? I don't know. Oh, there's another. Is this another shed? Do you think we can open like another BNB like down here? Maybe in the future or something? That'd be kind of cool. It looks very similar to like my area when I like opened that up. So, hmm, I don't know. I have no idea. I kind of want to see what's going on. So, like, I had a guest. I think that was him just like walking around and stuff, but I'm not 100% sure here. Anyways, we are going to just kind of put our items down. I got like so many of these wardrobes now. I probably don't need all those wardrobes. <laughs> Never mind. All right, we got a nice welcome mat, which should definitely go by the door, I would say. And what else we got? We got this nice little potted plant, which is super cute, but it's tiny. That is a tiny plant. We just put it here or something. It doesn't give that much prestige. Oh, there's a flower vase right here. Okay, we got a poster. Let's put this like little bear poster here. It's very cute. And we got this little light. I don't know why I'm gonna put that in there or something. Oh, we could put this on top, right? Yes, and then put that in there. That looks really cute, actually. A rug. Let's give them like a little, a little rug or something. Okay, hang on. Do I do I need that in there? I don't need that in there right now. Where's where's the rug gone? All right, we'll put the little rug. We got to have it sticking out so we so we can like see it. <laughs> that would be like really nice. Anything else I got? I got this pen on a string. I think this is a quest item actually. <laughs> Apparently it's a quest item anyways. We got another bed and we got another wardrobe. I'll probably take one of these wardrobes out eventually. I just didn't know what I was doing at the time. Um, but yeah, it'll get sorted. We're at level two now anyway. So this is enough, I think. So let's go and like do the next bit on the quest. I need to go and speak to this shark boy. So this is my tourist, right? This is my dude. Uh, what does that mean? I don't think he's very happy somehow. Flightless birds. Oh, yeah. I think he already said that. So he's coming into my into my bed and breakfast. Here he goes. He's going to sleep. It's bedtime for this dude, I guess. But yeah, like, there's not too much that we can do. I can just watch him sleep. That's just really creepy. Imagine waking up and just seeing a bear like, watching you sleep. <laughs> That'd be so weird. Of course, we don't have much in our B&B right now, but I'm sure it will get more complex, you know, as we as we go. So that's going to be pretty awesome. I'm really looking forward to that, actually. It's going to be great. Okay, property prestige is the principal proof of a prominent plot. That's a lot of peas. Okay. Let's press the green button. It looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations! You've increased your new property's value by a quarter of a percent. Not even a whole percent. <laughs> That's just sad. That is 278% more than our guests receive on their average trip. Wow, really? You must really have really bad bed and breakfasts. Like, really bad ones. <laughs> more prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Thank you. All right. Oh, I got another quest here. Congratulations. It seems that your first property is coming along nicely. Now that you are earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door salesman, you are presented with an opportunity. Yay. In order to achieve the prestigious Pawn Voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Oh, okay. Complete the stay for plus two guests in Timber Crossing. Okay, so I gotta get another I gotta get another guest in, right? Maybe there's like another request that I can like accept or something. Let's have a little look here. So details. Oh I got three requests right now. Okay. So the guy I have right now, comfort. Hmm. He leaves in two days. I see. So we can accept all these people. Should we just accept all of them? I don't even have like a bedroom. Oh, I need to make another bedroom so that we can accept more people. Not enough bedrooms to actually do it right now. I don't even know if I've got money. Do I have money? I have no money. So we need to find a way of making money before we can do any of that. Um, okay, so I wish there was a way to like view the map. Is there not like a better way to like view? I guess not. I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to just like look around ourselves, I suppose. 
that little cursor coming up on the characters is so weird. So, okay, let's see. I gotta talk to Tony about the little travel kiosk. So this is Tony here, so let's see what he says. Hello again, my child. Why, hello. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Why do you call me your child? That's a little weird. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. <laughs> you get used to it. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> Look, I have it on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? And what authority is that exactly? Um... Well, oh, marvellous. The old travel kiosk was the jewel of Timber Crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. Oh, so kind of like the pyramids. <laughs> no, you'll actually find it, it's more of a rectangular parallel piped, par parallel, parallel piped? I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. That's a hard word to say. <laughs> a rectangular what? That's what I was thinking. So I think we should spruce it up like we did with the sheds. And that will attract more humans and get us even more money. Right, Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Well, we had a little help. <laughs> oh, it's a brilliant idea. As usual, my son. Student. Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. You don't actually get used to it. <laughs> He's a bit of a weirdo. I love the beaver. He is great. <laughs> well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear, clear the place out of all the rubble and then we'll get to building. Okay. Oh, I've done it already. <laughs> so, all clean? Yes. It's almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things the humans looked for in a kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. There's a few oddities I'd need to get it all together. I'll need a bit of human literature. I've got a book back home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I mean, a computer. <laughs> I think the bus driver might have one in his little bus shack. I think I might have already taken that. <laughs> Great, treasure hunt. Take your time. I'll put together everything else in the meantime. Okay, I just need a book on spelling from the thicket. Right, that's back. That's back at our home. I don't remember exactly how you get back though. Was it just like down here or something? Could just be down this way. Okay, I think I found it. Okay, we're good. I just have to like remember what's going on. Isn't my mum gonna be like super mad? Cause like I wasn't supposed to like, she wanted me to bring back this weed stuff and I never did. Hmm, I can't seem to. It's kind of hard to like get around this area so I like, can't see very well. It's like really, really dark. I guess I think you're supposed to follow the lights, aren't you? Yeah, maybe I'm just supposed to follow the lights and hopefully that will lead me back home. That would be great. Probably wasn't the best idea to do this at night time. Probably should have done it during the day, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay, are we home? Yes, this is the thicket. Very nice. So we're looking for a book on spelling, which uh, was, I think, the birds, right? The, the little pigeon. The pigeon's awesome. I love how sarcastic he is. Can we do something here? What is denim anyway? <laughs> Are you gonna wear some? You know, wear some jeans? That'd be pretty funny, I have to say. All right, oh, there's my mom. She she was coming to greet me. Hi, mom. I see you're running low on pocket money. Oh, my little baby. I knew this day would finally come. The day I would feel useful as a parent again. Well, I can help you out, but you have to promise to be more careful next time, all right? Here you go, honey. She gave me some money. She gave me a hundred coins. Oh, wow. So that's how you, you just get some money from your mum. Oh my God. I didn't even know that that was a thing. I love this house. It looks so very nicely decorated. I can't wait till my hotel it looks a little something like this. It's going to be really nice. Um, so we need to find this book. Don't know where it would be, but it should be like in this place somewhere. Ah, here we go. Book on spelling. There we go. Found it. Perfect. Very, very nice. Okay, so I guess we should head back now. Should we go to sleep? I don't think I really need to though, but you can. 
you can go to sleep in this game but yeah it's not really like that needed i suppose it is the fifth day the days go really fast in this game i've noticed <laughs> it seems like the days are just whizzing by okay we need to go back to this area and i don't i think i've gone the wrong way yeah i'm pretty sure i've gone the wrong way let's try going back down but it's nice that your mum gives you some pocket money it's like i didn't know that that was like a thing you could do so that's pretty good if you run out because of course we don't really have like a way of selling anything i'm sure there will be a way to sell stuff like in the future but right now i have no idea okay so now we've done that we should be able to fix up this kiosk which is gonna be pretty awesome actually let's find our way around the spooky swamp i'm sure we will is that frogs i think i can hear some like frogs or something <laughs> i don't know i feel like you'll be able to do something in these in these like woods i f i kind of hope so i hope you can like build something in that in that like area or something it would be nice but i don't know I have no idea. Okay, so now we've found everything we need. Let's turn this in to our little buddy here. Hello. Were you able to find everything? Yes, I did. Here you go. It took a while, but here you go. Oh, yes, yes. This is everything I need. Yay. Happiness. There you go, my buddy. Let's build it. Yeah, won't take long. <laughs> He's very confident. <laughs> There's a creepy raccoon staring in the corner. He's watching us. Dang! That looks amazing! He did such a good job. Just like new. You did that really fast, I have to say. That was really, really cool. Can we go inside? Let's have a little look. Is there anything I can do in here? Maybe not, but yeah, it looks nice. It looks nicer than my place. Oh, that was auto save. I wonder why I did lag spike it. It's because it was saving. <laughs> okay. Is the kiosk ready? I think it is. Yeah, it's ready. I never thought I'd say this. Logaria? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, it was 38 across in the 1982 crossword semis. I found it in the dumpster the other day. Okay, are you like proud of that or something? <laughs> That's gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. Anyway, you did good, kid. Was that was that meant to be like the disease, like the STI? Is that what he was trying to say? Was it was it a was it a joke? I don't. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. There'll be more stuff for you to to buy at the dumpster now. Okay, cool. Oh, and I'm putting in a good word with the big cheese. Ooh, who's the big cheese? I don't even know. Oh, my little otter buddy is coming over. Hey, my little buddy. I love this little guy. All right, Hank, my boy, I've done about all I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although, there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. That's what I like to hear. Thanks, Tony. I like to keep myself busy. I'll be back in my mill if you ever need me. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. Do you have a thing for my mom or something? <laughs> I'll tell her to drop by sometime. Okay. <laughs> he keeps going on about my mom. <laughs> What's going on here? I don't know. All right, he's got new items. Awesome. See what he's got. Wow, there really is a lot of items. Holy smokes. We've got some new mirrors, new things, rugs, barrels, a large snake plant. Say what? Oh, I really like this clock. It's kind of creepy, but I kind of like it at the same time. It's one of those like freaky but cute things. What's this? Is this maybe where you sell stuff? I don't know. <laughs> like how the raccoon is just like going all over the place <laughs> it's kind of cool actually okay so what's this completing quests and progressing through the story unlocks more items for sale in the shops blueprints and cooking recipes only need to be brought one time once learned they will disappear from the shop right okay that makes sense what's going on have i done this one yet i don't know no, it's not up to par yet. Okay, give Beanie the envelope from Oliver. I got another quest down there as well. Not entirely sure how you go about doing that just yet. But that's okay. We've got a dude and asleep in here. So can we... Do we have enough money to build a second bedroom? Because that's something I, like, really need to do. So that would be awesome. Let's see. Add door. No, no, no. I want to... I want to add tiles. 
Okay, let's see. Maybe we'll just make it like this big. It's kind of big actually, but the bigger the better. That's what I say. How much money? This would cost 150. I don't have enough money. I'll have to like make it a bit smaller. I could only make it this big. That sucks. That's a little sad, but it is what it is. We'll just have to go with this for now. I'll make it bigger later when I've got like a bit more room or something, but that's gonna have to be it for now. Oh, this is one that goes on the wall. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. All right, we'll put it in there. That's nice for now anyways. Whoa, what just happened? I just accidentally removed a tile. Okay, create room. So now that we have an extra room, when do I get paid? <laughs> this guy just like not paying me. Super annoying. All right, so now we have that. Let's have a look. Bedroom two is empty. I got no guest requests. Oh, I did. But I guess they've like gone. I could kick them out if I want to as well. That's cool. If you like, you ever wanted to do that. But I got extra bedroom now, so I should definitely keep an eye on those requests and hopefully put somebody else in the bed and breakfast place so soon. I'm gonna go over here because I think Ol um is she called Oliver or Olivia? I don't don't remember Oliver. Okay, we need to like go and find this um this person. I don't actually know where she would be, but. Hopefully around here somewhere. I don't know, how do I look at my quests here? Let's have a look. Okay, Oliver, also known as the bus driver. Okay, an old package. Best way to find out is to make your way to Sawdust. This is Sawdust, so she should be over here. Or at least uh, the beanie person should be here somewhere. And here is Tony at the mill over here, just doing his thing, I suppose. All right, let's look around. Maybe there's a house over here or something that I've just like totally missed. I have no idea, but there's lots of like collectibles in this area. It's probably like one of the best areas to just like collect things and find things. There's just so much over here. It's fantastic. It's really, really good. Actually, let's take all these goodies. Very nice. Let's head down a little bit. I think that would be pretty awesome actually maybe head down from this area here so it's a little signpost to the thicket oh this all looks loops back round. i didn't know that where is this beanie person <laughs> i have no idea they gotta be around here somewhere probably just haven't noticed them or something should we go speak to tony i like tony i want to see what he says you're sleeping it's not time for sleeps wake up if a tree falls in the woods does it make a sound? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, it always does. And I always recommend lumbar support for serious injuries. All right, thank you. Are you sure it makes a sound? If no one's there to hear it, is the sound still there? <laughs> it's just like one of those questions, isn't it? I don't think anybody has the answer to, to that one. But yeah, it probably still does. But if nobody's there to hear it, there's no proof, right? So it's a bit of a conundrum. I would say. All right, let's try over here. Where is this person? I still haven't found them. I feel like I've like looked almost everywhere. Very strange. Let's look up here. Looks like there's some kind of sign or warning. Oh, hang on. Who is this? Ooh, have I found you? Are you Beanie? Hello. Sabin. Hello. I don't believe we've met yet. No, I don't think so. Are you like part of the scouts or something? How did you end up here? What do you mean? I'm a bear. Bears hang out in the woods. <laughs> With my feetsies. That's so cute. <laughs> Burbling bear noises. Good. Physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? Then what am I saying right now? Actual, literal bear noises. <laughs> that was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just yoking ya. What's a big softy like you doing all the way out here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's, uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Oh, oh Sabin. Oh, Sabin? Or oh, Sabine? I don't know. If you're my mum. <laughs> but I like, um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie. Such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. 
Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. Though, I understand the resemblance. <laughs> no, no. He found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver's license and I had a much smaller hat. <laughs> he mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. Oh, do I get a map? I really want one. So it's a little awkward finding where to go. I thought this burned up in, in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Wait, is that what happened? Was there a fire and that's why there's like no humans around? I mean, it's the woods, like humans don't usually hang out in the woods anyway. <laughs> but apparently it, like, it sounded like humans used to come here more often before, right? Like tourist areas and stuff, I don't know. So apparently there was a, a fire in the woods, that makes sense, I guess. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. Okay, I got a compass nice here you can have this it will help you find your way back faster thank you you've obtained the compass which unlocks the area map view um oh i'm moving oh she moved me out the way the area map can be accessed through the map button okay right here got you the area map shows all the important markers and landmarks that's handy all right let's take a look let's have a look so it shows you uh, all the things all the things to collect passage Area exit, bus stop. I see, this is really handy. So now you can see all the locations that you can go to, which is pretty cool. I want to go to this lady's tower. She's got like a little house up here. Like, it looks like an outpost or something. Maybe she's like a ranger or something. Is this where she lives? Oh my gosh, she's got a cozy little place here, I have to say. All right, can I do anything or interact with anything? Or steal anything? <laughs> no, unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to uh, to do anything in here. But that's okay. That's kind of cool, actually. All right, so now we've done that, we've got to go and return to Oliver, at least in a second. Anyways, where does this go? Area exit, no access. So we can't go there just yet then, I suppose. There's also like a passage up this way. I'm not sure if we can take it though. Oh yeah, look, it's all crumbled. So looks like we're gonna have to like move those rocks out of the way eventually. So that will be, that'll be a task, I suppose. I like how there's like gonna be little areas that we can open up and stuff. Shall we build this? Oh, we need a bus sign. I don't have one of those. I guess we can't do that just yet. <laughs> That's okay though. I think we can do the bus a little bit like next to our bed and breakfast. I feel like I had the materials for it, but I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see. I keep pressing M for map, but you can't, you have to click on it. And I just like I guess I'm just like not used to that. No access. There's a lot of trees and stuff like that blocking the way, isn't there? Really is a lot of those. Okay, so it marks all the characters as well. Very, very handy. Okay, so now we've done that, let's go and return to Oliver and you know, I'm just going to have a little quick check actually. I want to check to see if we have any guests requests because I'm hoping to get some more people up in here. We do, yay, who shall we take? Let's take Rosemary Sharples, I'll accept you. Assign you to bedroom number two since it's empty. Wait, can you get people in the same rooms? Assign you to that one. Okay, I can't, I can't take you apparently. Did the other guy go? This person leaves tomorrow and this person's arriving tomorrow. Ah, I see, I see. That makes sense. We don't have any reviews yet, but I'm sure we'll get one soon. So that guy's leaving very soon then. So our first guest is almost done, it seems. Okay, let's go and see what's going on down here then. What is that? Oh, it's you. <laughs> you were under the under the bus. <laughs> I was wondering, I just saw a pair of legs. <laughs> I was wondering what, what the heck was going on. Back already, bud. <laughs> did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? I did. You're blushing, my friend. <laughs> she called you a weasel. Barely legible bear noises. Blah, 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 blah. What do you think he actually sounds like? <laughs> I'm really curious. I wish I could hear it. <laughs> oh, you're the man, bud. Oh, bear. Sorry. So, what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bud. She found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Oh, drawing all of this out with her was the most fun I ever had. Short of driving a bus, of course. 
Of course. Look, there's sawdust and high lake and look, this is where we are. Oh, uh, you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There's places a bus it couldn't even reach. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while, just me and my buses. He's married to his bus. <laughs> but it just doesn't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time. But with all the new folks starting to visit and all, I think you should have this. And look, see where these old bus stops are? If you manage to fix these up, like you did with the old storage shed, I'll give you bus rides for free. Yay! Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Alright, so now we have bus signs and an atlas. Nice. Look, the first one is right there next to the shed. How about it? Yeah, I was literally gonna like do that. Literally, I was gonna do that like right now, but since I got a quest for it, well, I'm gonna do it. Definitely gonna do it. You've obtained the atlas, which unlocks the world map view. The world map can be accessed by clicking on the world map button in the area map panel, which I don't know how you get to. Here you can see where Hank is in the world as well as what areas you have discovered. Okay, the world map view, where is that? World map can be accessed by clicking the world map button in the area map panel. What's the area map panel? Uh, is it this? Oh, here we go. So these are the places we've unlocked. Black moss, the thicket, sawdust, timber crossing. And there is all these locations over here. There's this big forest over here. So this is like little, I don't know, canyon area. Oh, that could be another B&B area down there. Maybe it's like a lighthouse. It's like a snowy area right at the top. Looks like there's tons of things to discover, which is really awesome. I actually saw the developer post that this game is about 20 hours long, which I was actually surprised at. So I thought this was gonna, actually going to be a little bit shorter than that. But that, that's a pleasant surprise actually a good length actually so that's good okay uh, we're gonna fix up this this bus station here we go let's do that ta-da a new bus station is now available you can now fast travel good stuff all right I'm glad we unlocked that so early so <laughs> that's fantastic actually all right hello my friend did you get that bus stop fixed yes I did approving bear noises yay that's great news bud i know everything is going fantastic i would say all right what's going on oh he's having a coffee oliver seemed like a friendly easy going softy one of the few people that stuck around the valley took on the other hand was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen baloney a strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony well, why not? <laughs> That's great news, bud. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it, and Bob's your uncle. We got a toolbox. Nice. And boom, I'll drive you there anytime. Yay! <laughs> Hank! Hank, where are you? Oh, it's my friends. What's up? Is something bad happening? What's going on, my friends? Hank, where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony, and he taught me how to find some lumber, and then we made a bed for humans, and... And where did you find the alligator weed? Uh, oh yeah, we forgot about that, huh? <laughs> oh no, we didn't find any of that, just pine and plywood. Any minute now. But we also had to use some cotton. Hank? Yes? <laughs> He's forgotten about his, his objective. <laughs> He's like, huh? <gasps> oh my gosh. Mom! There it is. <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we have to go home. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> oh no, do we want to face the music? Broken bus stations can be found throughout the world. Repairing a bus station in an area unlocks fast travel. Yep, bus posters can be found in Oliver's shop along other oddities and progression items. Okay, good to know, good to know. All right, nothing's going on. 
over there right now. I still don't think I've done two guests right now. So yeah, just keep going with the with the quest that we're currently on. I think that would be a good idea. So yeah, we gotta go back and speak to mum. Maybe she'll give me some more pocket money. <laughs> I wouldn't say no to that. More pocket money, please, because I got like nothing. So that'll be nice. I could make that bedroom a little bit bigger if I manage to get a little bit of dough. That'd be awesome. Can you hear all the wildlife? All the like birds or frogs? I don't know. It's super noisy around here. It really is. All right, let's go home. See what our mum says. Alrighty. Hank, kids. But she's been looking for ages. You know, I already went home though, but I guess like the game just like forgets about that, <laughs> I guess. Hank, where have you been? My goodness gracious. Are you all right? Did something happen? I'm okay, Mum. Nothing happened. All right, good. What was in that thick head of yours? And you? I didn't even say anything. You put him up to this again, didn't you? No, Mum. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days. <laughs> Humans are coming back. And another thing. They're what? And we're helping. I see. Well, I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. Wait, what? <laughs> How is there nothing wrong with that? We're going to get more to visit, and they'll bring money and trash, and we'll get to learn all about them, and... And I get to make stuff for them. Me! Tony taught me how to build a bed, and... I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there was nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. I, I actually kind of like this idea, like, the animals are kind of like, they want the humans to, to, like, move in so that they can, like, get the junk and, like, make their life easier. I think that's, like, kind of, kind of cool, actually. Though I'm sure they could fend for themselves, too. <laughs> Don't say that, Mum. I'm not going anywhere. I just... It feels nice to do something out there for a change. Something helpful. I know it does, dear. For now, at least. You're all probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah, we gotta go check on our humans. <laughs> it's like the humans are like our children or like our buddies or something. I got a trucker cap. Nice. All right, dear. At least don't forget your hat next time in case it rains. She's so doting. <laughs> now get some rest. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. All right. Oh, I got a little buddy. Wait, who are you? You're tiny. <gasps> we got a little rat. Anton the rat. Oh, don't get up for me. I can see just fine from here. He looks kind of old too. What? Let's just say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. He's like mafia. He's like rat mafia. I like that. That's not true. I did no such thing. Relax. It's a good thing. It is? The oversized rat did say the size doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you made quite an impact on my trash-talking associate. Which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> He's thinking. <laughs> or... I don't know. I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. Do what you want. I don't care. <laughs> okay, new routes unlocked towards the A24. Yay! That was weird. Yeah. I mean, it's not every day you just see a random talking rat just walk into your room and offer you a good deal, you know? <laughs> Can I go to bed or did I already sleep? I guess I already slept. I guess I already went to bed and had a nice sleep or something. I don't know. Anyways, I think here is a good place to stop. We managed to build up the kiosk and yeah, made a little bit of progress. I'm looking forward to meeting this rat in the next episode. That's going to be pretty awesome. And hopefully we can make a bit of progress on the BNB &B itself like soon because I really want to like build it up a little bit. So that would be really cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below. 
to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below or on my channel homepage. I regularly live stream over on that channel and it would be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.